you brush your teeth this morning? Did you brush till they were clean? Or did you brush until one minute was over? What was the last time you played a song over and over again until you got bored? What are we doing here? We are doing something over and over again until some condition tells us to stop. In programming, we call this a loop. We need loops if we want to perform some action many times. There are two parts of a loop, an action and a stopping condition. For example, you want to eat three cookies. The action is eat a cookie. Stopping condition is when you have eaten three cookies. You eat one cookie and check, have I eaten three cookies? If no, you eat another cookie and check again, have I eaten three cookies now? This is a loop and when the answer to the question is yes, you stop. You want to show a countdown from 10 to 1. The action is display a number and subtract the number by 1. And stopping condition is when your final answer is 0. So after displaying the number and reducing it by 1, you will ask, is my new number 0? If no, repeat. If yes, you stop. Sometimes, you will need a machine to continuously do something without stopping. For instance, an automatic air filter continues to check for air quality in your room without stopping. This is also a loop, but an infinite loop, a loop that goes on and on and on, whose stopping condition never occurs. You might want to put up a mood board outside your room and it will continuously flash your current mood. Your action will be show happy emoji and stopping condition will never occur and you play it in an infinite loop. Hmm, you want to see how easy maths is with programming and loops? Has your mom ever complained you don't know the table of 16? Why not use a program for it? This is a finite loop with multiplier up to 10. Easy? You want to find an exponent? Piece of cake. What if you want to do something on a button press? You will wait in an infinite loop for the button to be pressed and if the button is pressed, you do some action. Go ahead and imagine what loops can do for you. Log on to Avishkar Maker Studio and look for loops context. There it is. So you can see three blocks to help you out with any loop you want to make. A repeat while true block. While true means a stopping condition never occurs. So this makes our infinite loop. The count with block is a finite loop, which uses a variable as a counter and lets you run the action a limited number of times. The breakout of loop blocks becomes useful if at all you want to stop the loop, both finite or infinite, in any condition if it changes in the middle of the program and you do not want to wait until the actual stopping condition occurs. Here is a little example, our very own countdown. Hope you learned something new today. Happy making!